Hello, YouTube. And hello to the mattresses. To the mattresses is who this video is going out to. But before I start on with them, uh, has anybody else noticed that that name, To the Mattresses? I don't know, is it just me or does that name sound queer? Anyway, anyway. There was somebody that told me, RV, that, that's my master RV. He had told me that I should make a video now. Because RV doesn't really identify with Jack Doodle as well as I can. See, I'm a monkey. And Jack Doodle and I are closely related, more so than RV would be to Jack Doodle. So, since he and I are about kin, well, I'd have to respond. Because I can identify with Jack Doodle. But in his last video, which, by the way, if anybody hasn't noticed got deleted along with his entire account. The account being Jack Doodle Jr. He only had three videos up there. Hmm. Wonder what could have happened. Could it be that he called the Jews a bunch of filthy, rotten, kike, Shylock motherfuckers? No. He didn't do that, did he? I don't see that he violated any terms of service through YouTube, but he was still deleted. Hmm. All goes to show what Jack Doodle had said about the basic tactics of the Jew if they ever encounter any resistance that they can't really counter. That if the information goes mainstream, never attack the message always attack the messenger. And in this case on YouTube, you attack the messenger by flagging videos, blah, 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 and accounts get deleted. Go figure. Now, Jack Doodle declared himself as a first stringer. Well, I guess that's where I got to step in. I'm going to have to go ahead and say that me being a monkey, I'm second string. But since we got a player down on the field, second string has to step in, take care of business. So, see, we're in a position where we have to play defense. I'm a linebacker. What are you to the mattresses? The tight end? <laughs> oh, no, no, wait, 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 wait. You could probably be the wide receiver. <laughs> see, Jack Doodle did bring some very interesting points that I think people in general just didn't want to recognize. Like the example of when things are illustrated in society in general and the Jews are blamed and they say the Jews did it or the Jews are responsible for something or the Jews are behind something. The typical argument would be, well, all Jews aren't responsible. But Jack Doodle did say, well, as an example, the saying goes, the sun never sets on the British Empire. Does that mean that all British people were responsible for building that empire? No, not all British. But still the comment or the, the term remains that sun never sets on the British Empire, inferring all British. But it wasn't all British, was it? Just like when people say, America went to war with Iraq. But wait a minute, it's just a very small percentage. But yet the, the analogy still remains. America went to war with Iraq. So why can't that same concept be applied to Jews? You see, it's not all Jews. But it is enough of them that when they say Jews, that well, it applies, doesn't it? Hmm. See, another interesting thing Jack Doodle brought up, of course, RV's brought this stuff up before, but Jack Doodle also brought it up. That's why you're getting the response to the mattresses. Jews that are in high levels of government positions, they have very extreme views and high levels of influence. And 
they're dual citizens. Citizens of Israel and citizens of the United States. Now when it comes to spies against the United States from our so-called allies, why is it Israel is the most responsible? They have the more most cases of espionage in the United States. Israel, and that's supposed to be our ally. And here you've got people in American government positions that are dual citizens. Don't you see that as being a conflict of interests? How about Jewish activity that gets hidden from history? Good example. The USS Liberty. And I'll again state, just like Jack do, well, I won't again state, but just in different terms. But restate what Jack Doodle had stated that everybody's heard of the USS Arizona, Pearl Harbor. Everybody's heard of the USS Cole. Why hasn't everybody heard of the USS Liberty? Sunk by Jews. Israel. But wait a minute. Israel is the homeland for Jews. So sure, it's safe to say Jews done it. All Jews? Not all Jews. But it was still done by Jews. This stuff gets hidden from history. You see, I want to get on to a different topic. What people call Holocaust revision. See, I don't like the term Holocaust revision. I like the term Jewish lie exposure in regards to the holla hoax. See, we don't have to show what happened. We just have to show that it could not have happened the way history claims it happened. That puts the burden of proof on the Jews. Of course, when you talk about Holocaust revision, maybe they'll just revise their lies again. How many times do they have to revise their story? We've seen that enough too, haven't we? Now, as much as RV despises no lies, no lies still did a very interesting video to you, to the mattresses. And he basically described how metaphorically shot holes in the ship that was the Holocaust. And what you people fear is that the public in general will see your ship is sinking. To me, the Hall of Hoax ship is already at the depths of the ocean. It's corroded. It's gone. Why is it Jews fear having their lies exposed? Well, could it be that that could mean an end of special treatment for Jews? They can no longer go, oh my God, the Holocaust. Oh my God, we need special favors. Oh my God, we need to get paid reparations. Maybe they're afraid that all those special favors will be taken back. They're afraid all those reparations will be taken back. They're afraid the U.S. support for Israel will be taken back and they will be left high and dry. And of course, they're afraid that if that happens, oh, all the enemies they've created will take care of them at that point. Because... Big Brother U.S. will not be there to look after him anymore. You think that could be why they're afraid to have the truth come out? Afraid that the U.S. will no longer defend them? Afraid that the entire world will see through their bullshit? Now, people in general, aside from to the mattresses, don't let the comments that GD have made get erased. Turn on your camera. Or maybe make a text video. Or got text comments at the very least. Let them know you saw JD's response. And you'd like to see the issues addressed. Not erased. Good day.